The current legislative session, which was supposed to end on Friday, has been extended to January 19th. This is to allow lawmakers to finalize the general budget and a bill that will allow the use of last year's tax surplus for various items, including cash handouts for the public. The cabinet, which was expected to resign en masse on Friday, will also likely do so on January 19th. If Premier Su Zhen Chang does resign, former Vice President Chen Jianren has reportedly put up his hand to take over his post. After a round of negotiations, the ruling and opposition parties on Friday reached a consensus that the current legislative session would be extended until January 19th. First lawmakers will deliberate a bill that proposes to use last year's tax surplus to fund cash handouts for the public, among other items. After this, the legislature will vote on the general budget. We will first examine the provisions of the special budget, pass it as soon as possible, and issue the cash handouts as soon as we can. Only the KMT objects to dealing with the general budget first. You all need to face this honestly. What kind of tricks are you trying to play? Is this a farce or something? Everyone's got their own interpretation of this. According to the usual practice, the Premier will come to the Legislative UN to pay his respects once the general budget has passed. This is the time when pundits are anticipating the Legislative UN to resign en masse. This was expected for Friday, but will now likely happen on January 19th. Cheng Minzong himself said the cash handouts can be issued in four days, which is basically impossible. All he's doing is political manipulation. He can see that the DPP may be facing some issues with the cabinet reshuffle, so he's using the general budget deliberations to stall this. In addition, more reports have emerged about the upcoming changes in the executive UN. Former Vice President Chen Zhenren has reportedly put up his hand to be Premier, while the current Defence Minister Cho Guozheng is expected to leave his post. A name that's being touted to fill his place is National Security Council head Wellington Ku, which could make him the first ever civilian Defence Minister under the administration of President Tsai Ing-wen.